The Vivo Z1 Pro is the first phone from Vivo focused towards the online market and a worthy competitor to the most popular phones in the budget segment, the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Realme 3 Pro. I have had this phone for 2 months and now I will give you my long term review of the Z1 Pro along with its pros and cons. So without any further ado, let's get started. First up are the pros. The Vivo Z1 Pro has an impressive design both front and back. The gradient back and the punch hole design in the front gives it a very modern and cool look. The display is another positive as it's a massive 6.53 inch Full HD Plus display with no notch, just a small punch hole camera. The colors, contrast and brightness are all pretty good for an LCD screen. It even has Wideband L1 certification for HD streaming on Netflix and other apps. The battery life is a major highlight of this phone. It packs a massive 5000 mAh battery inside. So, you can easily expect it to last 2 days with 8 to 9 hours of screen on time. And its charging speed is also quite impressive as it supports and comes with an 18W dual engine fast charger that charges this phone from 0 to 100 in under 2 hours. Performance is another area where the Z1 Pro impresses. You get Snapdragon 712 SoC under the hood which is both powerful and efficient. So be it day to day use or intense gaming, this phone will handle it all with ease. This phone comes with super fast UFS 2.1 storage as well as dedicated microSD slot which is definitely appreciated. Now let's talk about the things that are a bit underwhelming about this phone. Starting with the build, this phone has a plastic build which won't crack like glass but can be easily scratched and is a fingerprint magnet. There is also no Gorilla Glass protection on the front and the oleophobic coating is also not that great. There is also no protection against water splashes or rain unlike the competition. The camera setup on this phone is quite versatile as it has an ultra wide angle camera in addition to the 16 megapixel primary camera. The front camera is also impressive with 32 megapixel resolution. In general, the camera performs well with nice vibrant colors, good dynamic range and plenty of camera modes to play with. But unfortunately, it doesn't support the camera to API. This is where the competition goes way ahead with Gcam support and its superior image processing in any lighting condition. An area of this phone which may or may not be to your liking is the software. While it's extremely feature packed, polished and offers good memory management, the UI is quite different from stock Android. So Android purists might not enjoy it. The single bottom firing speaker is loud but the sound quality is not that good. However, the sound via its audio jack as well as the earpiece is fine, no complaints there. The biggest disappointment, at least for me, is the presence of this micro USB port instead of USB type C. It's definitely not acceptable for a phone in 2019. So these are all the pros and cons of Vivo Z1 Pro that I've noticed in my long term use. Compared to the Realme 3 Pro and Redmi Note 7 Pro, this phone offers a better package except in the camera department. But the Realme 5 Pro and the upcoming Redmi Note 8 Pro seem to be better at least on paper. So if you like Vivo's UI and you need a large display, excellent battery life as well as great performance but don't care much about cameras, this phone will definitely make you happy. That's it for the video, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks for watching.